Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to take Nemo here, as you can see, a clownfish. He must be very funny. And we're going to take him and we're going to put him back, uh, we're going to put him, uh, help him find his way to Illustrator. Uh, pretend Illustrator's is home. We're going to help Nemo find his way home. And what we're going to do is we're going to vectorize him from a, from a raster image in Photoshop. So, anyway, the, the first thing that we're going to do, and I've already done this to save you a little time, is we're going to cut him out. And like I said, I already cut him out and uh, masked him out. And uh, I do have a tutorial on how to do that if you uh, search through my videos, um, how to cut people out in Photoshop. That's the video that you want to watch if you don't know how to do this. But I'll we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and make my la uh, make my mask viewable so you can see that I already cut him out. I went pretty quick, so don't judge my cutting out abilities. But uh, since that's not what this is about, I'm going to go ahead and just save them out to the desktop. Save as Clownfish PSD. We'll save it. And I had already saved it once, so I'm going to replace it and press OK to replace it. And now he's saved to the desktop. And you want to save it as a PSD file so that you uh, hold your transparency in the background. Um, and that, that should be fine. Then you go ahead and open up uh, Illustrator which uh, hopefully doesn't take too long. I thought I had it open already. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Then what we'll do is we'll go to File, Open, and we'll uh, type in Clown, and we'll do open up our Clownfish PSD that we just saved with that background cut out and saved as a PSD. We'll go ahead and let it convert the layers to objects. We'll press OK. And if you want to go ahead and test if uh, if there's a background here, all you do is you can make a, a shape or something and uh, make it black. Well, that shape didn't want to work. We'll go ahead and make another layer. I think that's because I had my artboard selected there. Uh, so we'll make another layer. Place that layer back behind the first layer. And if we can see this shape all the way up into the fish, then you know that you've you've got your transparent background like I do, as you can see. Okay, and let, now, now let me not waste uh, any more time there. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is live trace Nemo to get him to a vector, and as you can see, there's a live trace button here, and you can go certainly do high fidelity photo live trace in the newer models of Illustrator. You can do that, but I'm going to show you how to do it um, a better way um, because you can set up your own options. So what you do is you go to Object, uh, go down to Live Trace, and go to your Tracing Options. And if you just wanted to trace it, you could go to Make or Make and Expand. But um, go to your Tracing Options. And I already I already had these set up, but it looks like uh, I have it set to go back to default. But I do remember where they were set. So what you'll do is you'll go to Mode here, and you'll change it to Color. You'll change the... Uh, Palettes automatic, and then you want your colors uh, to be max. Max colors you want to be 256. Um, I'll put the swatches. No, that's fine. Uh, blur. Maybe add a pixel of blur. Or so um, it's up to you. Um, it'll 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 make your image a little less sharp, but it'll uh, blend between the colors a little bit better. Path fitting. I'm gonna leave that at two pixels. That's where I had it before, and it looked pretty good. I'm going to make minimum area 0 and corner angle 0. And then uh, <clears throat> ignore white. I didn't do that before, but I think that's maybe what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and press trace. And this uh, hopefully won't go too, or won't take too long. Uh, it looks like it's going pretty fast this time. If you wanted to, you could have previewed it there, and uh, that can save you some time. Because if it doesn't look right in the preview mode, you know you can set, you can change your settings right there instead of having to do a Control Z and go back to your options. So hopefully, I don't have to do that because then I'll have to start this video over. I don't want to do that. Okay, that came out pretty good. Um, it came out so good because we used the uh, the 256 colors. Um, as you can see, it's not quite as perfect as the picture, but you're never going to have that when you convert it to vector. Um, so keep that in mind. But this looks really pretty good. 
for being a vector image. The next thing that you're going to want to do is uh, have your image selected and uh, we're going to expand the image. So you go to object and expand or you could have gone to expand up here. But we'll just go ahead and press expand and what that does is it, uh, it'll fill the, uh, the object in, in, in the, uh, the pixels and it'll, it'll kind of break it down into individual pixels rather than one huge object like that so that you can kind of manipulate it a little bit better. And as you can see, this is what it did. And uh, that's, what, that's what that does right there. Um, so the, the, the reason that you would do this, and you certainly wouldn't need to do this, and maybe, um, maybe, you, maybe you won't won't do this, but the, the reason to do that would be um, if it's not scaling correctly, pretty much. And this one would have. But sometimes when you get a stroke around an object or something, it doesn't scale properly. And uh, if it's not scaling properly, that's what you would do to fix it. Let's see, it looks like it might have added a background there. And uh, if it did, nope, it looks, uh, still looks to be pretty good. Um, for some reason, it, uh, it went ahead and made pixels of this whole area here. But uh, that shouldn't matter because um, you still can see straight through them. They're clear. They're clear pixels. So it shouldn't matter unless you uh, unless it just moves you for some reason. In which case, you can go in with your uh, direct select tool and then kind of delete them like this. Um, select an area like that and just press delete, and that'll get rid of them. But uh, you know, as you get closer up to the to the image, it gets to be harder without deleting some of the image. But I'll show you now that uh, that you have this, and uh, and you can kind of um, scale it a little bit easier, or or sometimes it scales more proportional, like I said, um, when you do that expand. But certainly you don't have to. It looks better if you don't. Um, <clears throat> Since it holds that uh, opa opaque background, you probably shouldn't do the expand because it'll look better. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking at you. Um, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, tell your friends and all that good stuff. Uh, thanks again.